Here's an example of a pest. Now if you can see the hole at the end of my finger, there's one there, there's one there, there's another one there. The stem from, oh there's another one. The stem from here up is dead. There's a pest that goes after spruces when they're young. I'm told that after 12 years, or maybe it's 12 feet, uh, they don't tend to be as much of an issue. They go after the center stem uh, that sticks high above everything else. And when that center stem dies off, the tendency is, is for the whorl, the branches around the center stem, for them to start competing. There isn't that dominant single leader to maintain the center of the tree. And so then the competition starts of which one can go the biggest, fastest to overshadow the other ones. And so sometimes you end up with multiple leads and the mechanical connection, the structural uh, adhesion that holds the tree together is less healthy uh, as opposed to that single leader. So one method that I've used and several other, uh, when this is noticed, uh, taking a branch and lashing it to the remaining lead for say a year or more this is a cotton twine so if I pass on or am forgotten or move away or for whatever reason uh, don't get back to this that will rot in time and it will release that branch but if I am around and aware uh, over time I'll untie that and the tendency is is that that branch will be retrained to an upward orientation similar to the rest of these that because of light they grow there but the one that is lashed there has the potential of becoming the new center leader and to encourage that uh, these branches may be subordinated basically reduced in size to give the other one a greater chance uh, to be that leader, which helps create a stronger, a stronger tree in the long run. 